In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of cosine squared of AT. So there's an identity uh, that we can use. Whenever you have uh, cosine squared of X, that's the same thing as one plus cosine of two X divided by two. The one for sine squared is very similar, except it has a minus. So easy way to memorize it is cosine has a plus. So here we have cosine squared of AT. So if you replace X with AT, what happens is that you get one plus cosine of two X, so two AT. So it's very similar. So let's go ahead and apply this formula here. So this will be the Laplace of one plus cosine of two AT and it's all being divided by two. And let's go ahead and break this up. We can write this as the Laplace. So it's one over two, so one over two, plus cosine of two AT, and that's also being divided by two. And the Laplace is linear, so we can actually break this up into two Laplace transform, and we can factor out constants. So that would give us one half times the Laplace transform of one plus one half times the Laplace transform of cosine of two a t. So this is equal to one half. And so the Laplace transform of one is one over s plus one half. And this one's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the formula down over here. So if you have the Laplace transform of cosine of kt, just remember cosine has the s. So it's s over s squared plus k squared. Sine has the k, so if it was sine of kt to have a k, it just cosine has the s. So here, it would be a s, because cosine has the s, over s squared plus, and then here's the tricky part maybe, k is equal to 2a. So this is 2a squared, right? That's your k. Your k is the 2a. Let's go ahead and clean this up. This is 1 over 2s plus, I'm gonna leave this one half outside like this, one half times s over s squared plus, and then squaring each of these, that's gonna give us uh, four a squared. And that would be how you find um, the Laplace transform of uh, cosine squared of at. I hope this video has been helpful.